Alexa, turn on office lights. So what will silver and gold do on inauguration day? Now, before I get into today's topic, talking about silver and gold on inauguration day and what the price is going to do, I want to get this out of the way first and foremost. I am not going to share with any of you my political beliefs. No, this video is not to be political by any stretch of the imagination. I am simply going to talk about what a lot of people are saying is going to happen to the silver and gold price on Inauguration Day. Now, there is a common misconception about whether or not Democrats are good or bad for the prices of precious metals. It is a lot of people's belief that Democrats are actually better for precious metals because Democrats tend to spend more when it comes to their fiscal policies. They tend to also raise the taxes more so than a Republican in office, and therefore the prices of the precious metals are going to go up. But that actually is not the case. In fact, an article that I had uh, discussed a few months back debunked this entirely. In fact, it comes down to the fiscal policy of the particular president, not the affiliated party. So when it comes to the president of the United States being a Democrat or Republican, it really doesn't have any bearing whether or not the precious metal prices are going to go up or down. Now, having said that, there are some indicators that are showing that Joe Biden is actually going to make the prices of precious metals go up, in particular with silver. Now, here's why. Biden has an aggressive stance on climate change, and he has said many times that he is going to move the United States further into greener technology. So we know industries like solar are going to have a much higher demand on silver than they have in the past. Now, many also believe that silver is way undervalued. In fact, I recently had Chris Vermeulen from the Technical Traders on talking about this very subject, both silver and gold. And he expects the price of silver to continue to go higher in the $32, $36 range. In fact, he also said that gold is probably going to hit $2,400 in the middle of this year towards the end of this year. And there's some reasons that this is going to happen. Now, I personally don't have any idea as to where silver and gold are going, okay? I don't have a crystal ball and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an analyst. I, I just go off of my hunch, just like a lot of you. But what I do know is that silver and gold tend to move in a time of uncertainty. And I think it's very safe to say that we are in uncertain times. We have never seen something quite like we experienced a week ago where thousands of angry protesters stormed the Capitol building the way that they did. And now we have over 20,000 National Guardsmen, law enforcement officers completely surrounding the Capitol because of what is expected to come. So when it comes to buying silver and gold right now, especially because of Inauguration Day being right around the corner, I think you should be buying silver and gold. In fact, I think you should be buying as much as you possibly can because right now all indicators are pointing to a strong year for silver and a strong year for gold. Now when it comes to the prices of silver and gold on Inauguration Day, I think that the prices of silver and gold are going to move up, mainly because of uncertainty. We are now having a transition of power from the uh, Republicans over to the Democrats. People are scared on both sides of the political spectrum, and fear is something that definitely drives the prices of silver and gold up. So what should you do? Right now we are in a pullback. In fact, gold is sitting at $18.29 and silver is at around $25. You should be buying as much silver and gold as you possibly can because these numbers aren't going to stay this low much longer. In fact, you should try to, I would say, back the truck up because again, all indicators show that silver is going to jump up to in the mid 30s and gold is looking to sit around the $2,400 range towards the middle and end of this year. Obviously, these prices can be wrong. Anything can happen. And this is all speculation. But uh, the way things are going right now, all things kind of point towards the fact that this is going to happen. So uh, I am actually buying silver and gold. In fact, I'm going to be buying more tomorrow. And again, I wouldn't be urging you to do what I wouldn't do. And so therefore, I think you should go and buy some silver and gold. And again, quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I would like to quickly thank these Elite Channel supporters. If you haven't become a member, please check out the perks and join today. With that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Check out these videos. Make sure you subscribe and long live the Empire.